Hello guys, it's Mokube here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install WordPress website locally for free. Let's get into the video. So the first thing is that you simply need to open any browser on your laptop or desktop. Once you're there, you simply search for this application called ZAM. That's the new ZAM. But I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below where you can actually get it. So I'll click on it after which I'll simply click on what download so you need to wait for a while okay after that I'll simply need to choose where I want to save this software let me just sit there click on save so that's it we simply need to wait for download to complete so once you finish downloading the application you simply need to click on it open after which you simply need to what to deactivate your windows antivirus we'll leave it with deactivated for 10 seconds that's 10 minutes close it we are going to click on what install this application we'll click on next 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 you can simply choose your language so i'll leave it like that in the default manner next ready to install so you simply need to wait for a while so once installation is complete we are simply going to run the software that's finished so guys this is it after installing this, we'll simply go to wordpress.org. We are simply going to download the WordPress. We are going to search for WordPress that's download WordPress. Okay, this is it here. We we'll simply click on what? Download. So you simply need to wait for WordPress to finish downloading. Once downloading is complete, we are simply going to open it. That's where this is, this is it here. Okay. After that, we are going to go to our directory file for this software. Come here. This is it here. We we'll open it. So we are going to look for this file. This is it here. Okay. This is it here. So after that, you simply need to extract your WordPress here. Yeah, that is the WordPress you just downloaded. We'll open the WordPress. We'll simply drag it. So, once you are done with that, you go back to your software and you simply run this first one. You run this. After which you click on what admin yeah so after that you simply need to create your your database so we are going to insert WordPress so we'll leave it like that we'll click on what create so once you're done with that you simply copy localhost copy this you open the new tab at the end of it you you insert wordpress on it so guys we are going to have this wordpress um, interface where you can simply choose your language your installation language so i'm going to leave it in english i'll click on next so guys here yeah, i'll click on what let's go so after which you simply need to insert your, your database name so we are going to insert it wordpress the user so we we'll just leave it at root we we'll just insert root after which for the password we are going to leave it like that after that you click on what summit so guys you simply click on run the installation once you are here now 
you can simply insert the title of your of your site let me say elect tv so the username let me say like that i'll copy it i'm going to open a notepad let me go to my screen i'll create a notepad open it i'll say username password come here copy the password insert it here so after that you simply need to insert an email address that's it after that for this one you can leave it in that manner after you click on install wordpress So guys to click on login we just successfully install wordpress we click on login so we're going to save the password okay after that we click on lock in so guys we just successfully install our wordpress website as you can see you see a brand new site that's it here now you can start by inserting your plugins and begin your designing thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below if you face any difficulty doing this we love you all see you in the next tutorial peace out